The Density Cube set covers everything from clear acrylic to wood and metal samples, giving you the ability to have students investigate not only density, but also the ability of things to float or sink in water, as well as electrical conductivity. The Density Set of 10 comes in a wooden case and has an index guide as to the samples that are included. This varies from acrylic, oak, pine, rosewood, steel, aluminum, copper, brass, nylon, and PVC. The 12 set density cube comes in a plastic storage case and an index of all the different samples that are included. This covers polypropylene, brass, acrylic, oak, pine, rosewood, steel, aluminum, copper, dense wood, nylon, and PVC. Even though these are all given to us as a one inch cube, I would still encourage students to measure the dimension of each side. And when you measure these, I would not just stick to one reading. I would have the students take two, at least two readings per side to get the length and then the width and then the height and then average out what those dimensions are especially when you're dealing with wood the densities can vary a little bit based on how well they've been dried out. Once the students have determined the mass and the volume of these objects they can calculate the density. The experiment doesn't have to end there. The fact that you have wood and metal samples allows you to open up a whole other realm of activities to investigate. For example, have the students take all the wood and plastic samples and based on their densities have them predict whether they will sink or float in water, then actually have them verify the results and see if they were correct. Similarly, with all the metal pieces, the students can investigate conductivity. One aspect about the buoyancy experiments that you have to be aware of is when you put these objects in water, they're going to get wet. For the steel or plastics, that's not a big deal, but wood will absorb water. And you can see a little dry spot here. Uh, just realize that if you use this in back-to-back -back experiments, the mass of this is going to change because it did absorb water. The Humboldt density set allows you to do much more than just calculate density for mass and volume. You can investigate conductivity, you can investigate buoyancy. There's no end to the different concepts you can investigate with a good sturdy set of density blocks in your classroom.